Hello? This is the locker room of Lou's Fish, owned by Mark Parenti and his father-in-law, Henry. I'm so impressed and so in awe of the fact that they work so hard, no matter what the weather is, outdoors, you know, blizzards, floods, heat waves. There's photographs of them in knee-high water, just trudging through it with large fish because they gotta do it because the city needs it. There's tradition and history all over this place, and yet it's still working like, like it did over 100 years ago. John Wilkerson has been here for three or four generations. They've done things like capture on film when one of the main market buildings fell into the East River. There's an alternate world still going on at all time. It's kind of the best embodiment of the city that doesn't sleep. It's not the clubs, it's not the after hours stuff. It's this 24 hour work culture that goes on and thrives and is this thing that is, can be dependent on. Somebody told me about 25 years ago, don't get too comfortable around here because we're moving to the problem. I'm really, interested in how cultures, not just, you know, how cultures have changed here, but how it, they're going to change drastically once they move out to Hunts Point in the Bronx. This here has been here for 180 years. You want to take it out of here? Yeah, well, we're going to be signing the leases on Tuesday, which is May 3rd. We have 60 days after that to get out. It's just not a good place to have a food business anymore. I'm here 26 years. I'm not going to the Bronx. It's a big mistake moving up to the Bronx. You know, it's not going to be the same thing. This, you know, is traditional, it's like a family thing, you know? I'm from Brooklyn. I don't want to go to the Bronx. I have to. I've got a family to support. My family died in 75 years. I came here, I was young and cute. 20, uh, 40 years ago, I was very popular. It's better. You know what the conditions are over here. When it's pouring rain and you're outside in the rain, the winter you freeze, so at least over there you're inside all the time. It's like up there, it's like a nothing place. It's just nothing up there. We needed a modern new facility. This is working in the street, dirty, filthy. It's not conducive for the people of New York, or for the city of New York. I live close to the market. I'm the only one who close to the market in the Bronx that I want to live. I'd like to stay here. I can't believe I'm leaving. I'm walking the streets like some drug-addled clown. I don't like going, I'm not leaving. This is, I've been here 28 years, and you know, it always made you feel like you were part of New York and you love this area. And that's what's being lost, is that this was the same in 1870 as 1970 as today. Thank you for over here, baby. We're finally here. Yes, we're happy. We're happy. Well, I think it's true if you like crowded streets and unsanitary conditions and dangerous working facilities, then you'll miss the last thing. Uh, this is all to the good, you know. Uh, things change, the world changes, and uh, we've got to keep up with giving people what they really need to live, and that is uh, jobs and good food and safe conditions and economic development, and uh, this facility really does all of that. Well, if you make a right, you can either buy heroin or any kind of drug. If you make a left, you can get any kind of hooker you want, so. You make a wrong turn, you're screwed. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you come out, you're sweaty, and you're dripping in sweat, and you look towards the sky and then over the bridge you see the sun coming up. That means it's time for you to go home. You're happy, but then you see the beautiful, you know, like at the end of the day you get something beautiful out of what you did, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I, I get poetic, I gotta stop.